they had murdered my son in July. For the past eight months, Keisha Thompson had been going to the Forensic Science Center for at least three times per week with the hope of receiving the DNA test done on a body she believes is her son. Thompson said her son, Alwyn Keswin Thompson, 28 at the time, was found murdered in a river days after he went missing. It is believed that Alwyn was killed, had acid thrown on him, and his body dumped in the Kanapo River in Tamana last July. They found the body on the 13th. They brought it down forensic here on the 15th of July. When they brought the body down here, they called us to view the body. And we came and we viewed the body. When they viewed the body, they said, after have a DNA test, I say, okay. Thompson said initially she was told that they would have to send the samples abroad to have the DNA testing done and that the results would be back in two months' time. Thompson said she doesn't want to believe that the body is missing or something has happened to it. I believe that the body is still here. I have been coming since my son is here on several occasions. Never get to see him but talk to the people and them inside. And I know he's here. Thompson is convinced that the body found in the river that day is her son based on the clothes and shape of the body. She is now begging the officials at the Forensic Science Center to get the results and release the body. He has two children, eight years, and they are suffering, and they know the daddy is dead and not coming back. I want to get my son to bury him. Efforts to reach the director at the Forensic Science Center and the Minister of National Security, Fitzgerald Hanks, proved futile. However, workers at the center who wish not to be named said sometimes it would take months, even years, to get back DNA results once the samples are sent to another country for testing. Rondor Dowlett, CNC3 News.